Let's take a look at transcendental functions. Now, we've been identifying functions, and so far everything we've done has been algebraic functions. There's another group called the transcendental functions, are the functions that don't fit in with the algebraic ones. These are trigonometric functions, logarithmic functions, and exponential functions. Let's look at each of those in a little more detail. First we have the trigonometric functions. These are f of x equals sine of x, f of x equals cos of x, or tan of x, or cosecant of x, or secant of x, or cotangent of x. And you should be able to draw these for at least two periods. The next type of function we're going to look at are exponential functions. This is where f of x equals b of x, where b is a any number that is greater than 0 but doesn't equal 1. So it can look like anything from, it could be f of x equals 3 to the power of x, or it could be f of x equals 1 third to the power of x. Important point to note in this x is in the power. It is the exponent. Other things to note with exponential functions is a couple of details. Every exponential function, your graph is always going to lie within quadrants 2 and quadrants 1. You're never going to see it below the x-axis. Uh, another thing, your graph is always going to go through the point 0, 1. Every single exponential function graph is going to go through the point 0, 1, at least how we're going to deal with it here. The other part, our b value tells us what kind of shape it's going to be. If b is greater than 1, if b is greater than 1, we're going to have an increasing graph, like this one over here, where it starts low and gets high. If b is somewhere in between 0 and 1, then we're going to have a decreasing graph where it starts high and works its way down. Now remember, it cannot equal 1. Our last type of function we're going to talk about in this video are logarithmic functions. That's where y equals log b of x. Now b is any positive number that does not equal to 1. So this graph can look like y equals log 3 of x, or it can look like y equals log 1 third of x. That b, that b number can be any number of things. Now if I look at the pictures of these, You'll notice a couple of things. The first one being that a logarithmic function always goes through the point 1, 0. You'll also notice it happens entirely in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. It never happens in quadrant 2 or 3, or 2 or 3. And the last one is if our b is greater than 0, or sorry, greater than 1, b is greater than 1. I'm going to have an increasing function. Starts low and works its way up. If my b happens to be between 0 and 1, I have a decreasing function. And that's some of the basics you need to know about logarithmic functions and about transcendental functions in general. You need to be able to identify the difference between these three functions.